When you're down in trouble, you need some help and care. And ain't nothing, no, nothing is going right. Mm, close your eyes and think of me. I got to stop now. I love that song. So I will be there. All right. All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Let me welcome you all to what I call the mental house. It's so crazy out there. I don't know if it's more crazy in here or out there. Anyway, I want to welcome you to the mental house with me, your host. Khadija, right? Okay. First of all, let me um, give a shout out to everybody that made the Out of the Darkness walk on yesterday. Uh, and um, for those of you that know all across the country, we had the Out of Darkness uh, walk for suicide uh, prevention for families and people who have experienced a loved one who has um, committed suicide. Because, you know, with the pandemic, there's just a lot of things going on with people that, you know, we just assume that everything is okay. And I think this pandemic is extremely hard for a lot of uh, people. And I think it's really important that we acknowledge them because I think the statistics is like one out of five. Um, you don't quote me on that, but that is a it, it's it's too high of a number, whatever number it is. Okay, so for those of us that are going through darkness right now and feeling uh, not our at our best, uh, know that God is able. Know that you are able. The God in you can propel you, propel you to different heights. But you have to be able to address and get, don't be afraid to get a little help along with your prayers, along with your uh, meditations. Don't be afraid to do that um, because it's very important because we don't want to lose you. We really don't, especially um, light bodies, you know, because there's so much darkness on the planet. We really need some more like bodies, and usually people that are very sensitive, people that uh, empaths, a lot of them take a lot of stuff just so deep. Um, sharks don't feel that. <laughs> Trust me, I've been around them both. Sharks don't feel that. So um, the only way you probably get a shark to kill itself if they know the police is hunting them down on their trail and they're about to close in on them. That's the only way a shark goes take itself out, really. But uh, for the light bearers out there, y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, in Milwaukee, yep, I think it was Friday night, just felt so despondent uh, right on here in Sherman and uh, Burleigh, right where there was that shooting. They burnt the gas station down. Y'all know over there by Sherman Park. Um where they, uh, killed, the police killed a young man and we ended up finding out the police officer was a pervert and was going around raping people and things of that nature. Uh, all that happened right there on that, that little Sherman and Burla area. They burnt the gas station down because the uh, Arabs uh, in the gas station was being very disrespectful. So the, the area already comes with its certain amount of drum, right? And I don't know anywhere USA that is urban area that don't. However, that's not what this story is. Eleven year old and a five year old was shot. Ain't no suspects. The eleven year old succumbed to her injuries and the five year old is still in a Think she in stable condition. Same age as my grandbaby. 
Now, we don't know right now if the car was a target, but it don't matter. The little babies didn't do nothing. And they the ones that's a casualty. They got hit, y'all. So we are destroying ourselves. The self-hatred that has been taught to us is now a full-blown, um, how you call it? What do you call it when something is so, when it's running on automatic now? You, you understand what I'm saying? When, once, you've, once you've got the shit together like you wanted it, then it started running like a fine-tuned machine. Like America, for instance. And the mistreatment and the uh, diabolical way in which they uh, decided to govern the society, you know, making white folks feel privileged. And so now they've grown up with a false sense of who they really are, which we all have to be subjected to. And then when they are corrected, of course, they unleash the armies on you. So you can't tell them the truth. So you're dealing with that aspect. Then you got a group of people who have been the serious reciprocators uh, uh, um, of this, reciprocators of this madness, and they've been called so negative and had to live so beyond the, the scope of things. Their lives have been turned upside down, inside out. Stolen it from their religion, stolen from their mores, and being taught to hate themselves, not being able to read, not being able to practice your religion. So after four and five and five and I mean, just long periods of time, <laughs> it takes a long time to break out of that. And the residue of that is a group of people that really don't love themselves very much. And then the watch the dominant society blame them for the behaviors, because of course, in a, in a a sense, they are responsible. Absolutely, but it's called a hate that hate produced, and it's also when they know, they as scholars know, when you treat an animal like that. And then tell them, okay, you free. Same thing you did with the slaves. You didn't give them a 40 acre. You didn't give them no mule. You, now you're free. Like they knew what the hell to do. But they managed. And I believe we're going to manage our way out of this. Because we cannot allow these groups to run around and kill our babies. Because somebody know who these people are that are responsible. Somebody's housing these individual in their house right now. They baby killer. We are going to have to eat our young. This mom had to drive to District 7, the police station on Fond du Lac. Had to drive over there. What is it on Berlin? Uh, Fond du Lac somewhere over there? What her baby shot. Do y'all hear? And this ain't just in Milwaukee. This is in every urban area in America. And then they blame us. And they're going to keep blaming us as if we're the problem of crime. As if we're the problem. As if we invented it. No matter how much hatred they perpetuated against us. They can't. We've never directed it towards them. We've only directed it towards ourselves. How about that for Stockholm Syndrome? We've never turned our anger on them. Only on ourselves. To the point where we would kill an 11-year-old girl and a 5-year-old girl is still in the hospital fighting for her life. We have got to do better. We have got to do better as a community. We've got to do better as a society. I mean, okay, I know, I know. I can hear you now. Come on, you don't want to hear all that. I don't want to hear all that. But that's what it is. We got to hear it. 
We got to hear it. I mean, for real, y'all, because if, if we don't check ourselves, who going to check us? Because what's happening to us now is getting to be. God, it's getting to be so devastating what we're doing to each other. There's no way to even describe it. Shooting our own kids at intersections. People getting out of cars and blasting at intersections, not giving a damn and babies are in the car, not caring about anything. Not caring about anything that makes human sense. Anything about nothing like that? All they is single focused on whatever is uh you know bothering them. I mean and when you find a society that's operating off that type of stimulus, then you know that um you know the end is near. But that's that, that you know, that's neither here nor there right now, because this is just I mean, this is just to say to y'all, we gotta do better. We got to start identifying the people in our community that are responsible for this type of bullshit. We really do. And uh, with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, please share this video. Um, I'm going to see you in the next video.